Hey all, welcome to Homeschooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a most demanded English spelling rule that is about the use of ER and OR at the end of English words as a er sound. So if this is something that interests you, be with me to the end of the video. But before we move any further, let me tell you how this video will work. First, I'll tell you about the etymology of ER and OR. And next, we shall see how we can help kids with these endings. If you don't know what is etymology, so let me tell you this. Etymology is the study of the origin of words and how they have changed over a period of time. So to learn English spelling rules, this is something that really need to be learned as well. Okay, so let's get started. But before we move any further, let me tell you that this channel is for you if you are interested in English phonics, English spelling rules, English grammar, English creative writing, and above all, how to teach all this stuff to your little ones in a multi-sensory way. So consider subscribing the channel, turn on your bell notification, and without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to know about ER and OR is the etymology, as I have told you. What are ER and OR words? They are agent nouns. We have some different uses of ER as well, but here we are confused between ER and OR when we are writing the agent nouns. Now, what are agent nouns? Nouns that we use for a person who does something, right? Like baker bakes something, maker makes something, doctor is a professional, and so as actor. So these all are nouns ending with the er sound at the end and they are called the agent nouns. Now the problem is how would we know or how will we teach kids that when they should write er er and when they should write or er in the words like these. So for that we can follow the KISS principle. KISS principle means keeping it simple. It says the words of Greek origin take er ending for er sound and words of latin origin take or ending now who on earth will say that this was simple who knows what are the words of greek origin and what are the words of latin origin so now i'm going to give you some tips which will make your life easier right so whenever you want to write the er sound at the end of words that are agent nouns means uh, they are representing a man who has to do with something. So you will use these tips. Number one is the most common ending of English words for the er sound is er. Always remember this. If you don't know which er will come at the end, make a safe guess and write er at the end. However, you can make an educated guess as well. If the word in which you are going to add the er ending is a simple verb like make, bake, dream, swim, or teach. Go for ERR, -er, right? Make will be maker, bake will be baker, dream will be dreamer, swim will be swimmer, and teach will be teacher. These are some simple verbs that are changing to agent nouns. Tip number two says most verbs that can be written in eight take. OR ending. Now, what does it mean? Let's see some examples and you will understand it better. For example, the word is directorate, dictate, moderate, speculate, rotate. In all these words, we can put the eight ending, right? So, if the word can have an eight ending, it will take the OR to make it an agent noun. Directorate will be director, dictate, dictator, moderate, moderator, speculate, speculator, rotate, rotator. Some other examples are translate, translator, investigate, investigator, accumulate, accumulator, communicate, communicator, procrastinate, procrastinator, right? So you can have a safe guess if you can make the word in eight ending, you can put ORR to make it an agent noun. It's time for tip number three. Tip three says, 
Use OR for a handful of common professions that have R sound at the end. In tip number two, I have given you some words, but now you need to memorize some common professions that have the OR R ending. Actor, mentor, doctor, sculptor, rester, professor, author, governor, conductor, and chancellor. You may find some other words with the ORR sound at the end, but you can simply make the list of the most common words to help kids learn the spellings at the beginner level, right? That's all for today's lesson. I hope you have got something useful from it. If yes, so please hit the like button, turn on your bell notifications, share the video with your friends and family, and don't forget to make it a great day. Bye!